Hi, Caleb with Brownells here. Today we have a long overdue from the vault with the Winchester Model 12 shotgun. The Winchester Model 12 or Model 1912 was of course first manufactured in 1912 and it continued all the way up until 1964. So it had a excellent production run. About two million of these guns overall were manufactured in various uh, gauges and grades and configurations as well as takedown, non-takedown models. Uh, this one here in front of us is a takedown model. Originally the gun was first manufactured in 20 gauge only and then uh, about a, roughly about a year later it came out in the 12 and 16 gauge and then again eventually in 28. It was never manufactured in a 410 but they did make a similar model basically scaling it down uh, as the Winchester model 42 uh, which is another great gun. But this one here being a takedown model I'll go ahead and show you how it takes down and the takedown itself, that feature wasn't necessarily for barrel interchangeability. It was more as transport. People traveled with guns a lot back then. Uh, it's also, also a good benefit of that is that it was a lot easier to clean the barrels with the takedown models also. Just going to run that forward. Give it a twist. And the barrels come off. And you can see a set of interrupted threads here that's used to lock into the action. Super easy to disassemble and reassemble. Um, so you could get the barrels also uh, in different chokes as well because they were all fixed choke barrels for the most part. And also another cool thing about this gun is that it was used in World War I, World War II, uh, Korea, and Vietnam. So it's been used quite a bit extensively in American conflicts as well. Um, excellent firearm. The Model 12 shotgun itself was never really a cheap shotgun, um, even for its time. But you could run them forever because you could always get parts for them. Winchester made replacement parts and you could always have them fitted. So they ran, they lasted forever. It was pretty much a forever shotgun. And uh, take this one for example, this is an earlier model and it's still in perfect working condition. Now, with that being said, I will say that the reason this gun was discontinued is because right around that 1964 range, it just got too expensive to manufacture. Before the Remington 870, this was the shotgun to have. This was the pump shotgun. And then when Remington came out with the 870, it was significantly cheaper, had that same parts availability, and the most important fact of it is that it was less expensive to manufacture. Uh, they're still out there today. You can still get them on the market, uh, used market of course, because they made so many of them and they're still very collectible. If you have any questions or experiences with the Model 12, please leave us a comment down below. I want to hear about them. And if you have any firearms that you want to see on the next From the Vault, let us know that as well. And thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time when we bring you another gun from the vault.